Hey everybody, welcome to Burke Bunch Renos, where we are doing some renovations. And the one we're gonna show you today is the board and batten. So we're prepping the wall. The first step that we're taking is to get the wife doing all the painting and the work so I can just go relax. No, just kidding. But she is painting. She is actually making the wall uh, all one color first. Then we're gonna put the boards on top of it, make a nice pattern. This is the other wall we're prepping for the board and batten. And we've been to Home Depot, picked up a pile of finger joint pine, primed. The reason we're using finger joint pine is we want to be able to mount some hooks and stuff into it, so we want to make sure that it's not going to rip through the MDF. One thing I like to do is buy extra and then always take it back because Home Depot is really great about taking it back. That way you're not short in the middle of the job and you have to leave, so buy extra. We are going to start the batten at the top, level it, work our way down to create a nice seam because they don't have 16 foot uh, finger joint pine. Then what we're going to do is cut them at 45 and overlap it. Then I can pin it right at the stud. Yeah, it's, it's, it's again. To attach the top header onto the ceiling and the wall, we're going to countersink using a countersink drill bit and then we can screw right into the studs which I've marked. First step and the most important step by far is planning. Make sure it's planned, measured, double measured, triple measured, and re-measured again. We've got this piece in place, so now we're gonna use a couple of the spacers to allow us to space out all the verticals all the way across. Nice thing here is that each of these cut out of an eight foot board leaves very little waste. So good planning by the mom. We know that the square is going to be that big. So what we'll do is we'll line this up there. We'll level it. And then this board is in the exact place it needs to be. There you go, the board and batten is up. We're now going to level some of the joints, do a little sanding, fill in some holes, a little mudding, and we're gonna paint it the same color as the background here. A couple of the problems we ran into, the wall's not quite level. As you can see, so we're gonna put a little piece of cove in there just to take care of that problem. Another problem you may run into is the fact that the wall bows in and out, depending where the studs are. So here's what can happen, a little bit of a lip, that's where we're gonna sand that, smooth it, mud it, level it out, so that when we paint it, you can't tell. Everything's been pinned and glued. Tops and bottoms have screws, keep them in place. And it looks awesome. This is wall number two. We're going to put the board and batten on the front entrance wall. Slightly smaller squares, but same process. All the seams have been filled, mudded, and sanded, and now it's time to do a little bit of, a little bit of painting. Well, we have filled in all the cracks and spots with uh, mud, and they've been sanded down to make it all nice and smooth. So now, both walls are ready for painting. Let the painting begin. So there you go, the Borden Batten project is complete. And it looks absolutely wonderful, I love it. Fabulous, wasn't easy, you know, it took a little bit of time making sure measurements were done properly, but the final results show it off. Yeah, we get a lot of compliments when people walk in, and that's the first thing they notice is the, uh, the two Borden Batten walls. Cool thing is, they're not even the same size of squares. From a visual point of view, they look the same, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. 
We hope you've enjoyed this Burke Bunch reno project. We certainly did. We did. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all under Burke Bunch TV. And stay tuned because we've always got more projects on the way. Mom's a bit of a slave driver over there. Yep. All right, we'll see you next time. Ow.